everyone. Today we are going to see about uh, renal amyloidosis. So, what exactly happens in renal amyloidosis? Let us derive from the name. Okay. So, what is amyloidosis? Amyloidosis is nothing but it is a protein. So, normally the proteins should be should undergo metabolism in the body and it, it has to have a no, follow a normal process right but instead of following the normal process the, the some proteins will get abnormally folded and it will get abnormally deposited fine so that is what is the reason for amyloidosis when that happens in the renal we call it as renal amyloidosis and this is one of the important cause for nephrotic syndrome so let us see what causes this renal amyloidosis renal amyloidosis is most commonly caused by multiple myeloma so let us see what the multiple myeloma is. Multiple myeloma is nothing but it is the cancer of uh, plasma cells. There will be abnormal plasma cell proliferation. So what are these plasma cells do? These plasma cells will be producing immunoglobulins. What are immunoglobulins? Immunoglobulins are the antibodies. So immunoglobulins they will be having a heavy chain which looks like this and they will be having a light chain. There are two types of light chains. They can either be kappa or lambda. So, depending on which immunoglobulin is formed, they can either be kappa or lambda. Here, because of the abnormal plasma cells, there will be abnormal production of this light chain alone. So, th there will be abnormal kappa or, the, and, uh, or abnormal lambda of the IgG immunoglobulin. Fine. These kappa and lambda, they will be small. They are the light chain immunoglobulins, right? So, they will be able to pass through the kidney. Fine. So, once those proteins, this uh, this kappa and lambda when they are crossing the glomerular basement membrane, glomeruli and when it reaches the urine, it will result, it will get passed in the urine, is not it? So, that is known as Ben Stone's proteinuria. Ben Stone's proteinuria is much more common in a multiple myeloma. Along with it, along with the protein which is being seen in the urine, these abnormal proteins will also get deposited in the kidney, parenchyma per se, resulting in renal amyloidosis. This is what you should know about renal amyloidosis.